Let's go home. You are live, live hey. at five. Welcome yeah. to the studio at home with Angie and Sean in the morning. It's 11 a.m. Mm -hmm. Where are you? Where are you guys? Hi. Uh, <clears throat> so no viewers as yet. Oh, no. They Meanwhile, let's introduce ourselves. Oh, yeah, we oh. have one. Oh, they're excellent. They're coming. They're coming. Go ahead and you start. Introduce yourself. All right. So hi, guys. My name is Angela. And I'm from a very beautiful country called Nepal, but now I call Italy home. I live in Milan with my husband and my daughter. And uh, just like you, uh, I'm sitting at home these days, working from home. All right, Sean, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, I am Sean. I come from Buffalo, New York, okay? I've lived in Milan now for four years. Um, Angela and I teach together at Meravigli in Milan. So the My English School Meravigli. Um, we've worked together for now, what? Is it about two years now, Angie, or maybe yeah, three? Yeah, two? yeah. I think it's about two. Yeah, been about two yeah. years. Now. A good, a strong two years together. Okay. Um, I want to remind all of you guys that tonight, especially if you guys want, I think we have a St. Patrick's event at 6 p.m. on the webinar site. And also, um, you're a part of it as well, or is it Danielle for the, Danielle. the emails? Oh, oh, for the emails, yes, I'm a part of that. Yeah. Um, and what is the, do we send, where do we send the emails? Okay, so where are you going to send the emails? Uh, the email address is myesmilanomeravili at gmail.com, all lower cases, okay? And wait, let me just write it down for you here. Mm -hmm. Meravili at gmail. Com. Excellent. Okay. So, so you guys, if you want to practice your writing, you can send any email to our teachers and we will make magic happen. Yes, magic. Uh, <laughs> please replace that too with an at the rate, okay? And hi guys, so many people today. I'm so happy to see you guys. Hi. Yeah. Okay. Mattia, welcome. So, welcome. And since you are at home, we have yep. a lot to do, or are you not doing anything? I, I, well, I have a lot to do. I'm correcting a lot of those uh, emails that you're sending. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, we all, uh, we, I'm also doing a few videos, uh, some webinars, just like Sean. And yeah, so that keeps me occupied. I also have a little child who I'm taking care of. So yes, mm -hmm. more than good. I can handle. Yeah. <laughs> there is too much to do at home. Exactly. And cleaning, um, cooking, yeah, cleaning. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Mm. What about, for example, whenever you go outside, where do you go? Oh, I don't go out at all. No, you no? don't go to the you, grocery Sean? store. No, I don't. I, I do only you? go to the grocery store. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. hmm. I don't. Uh, it's like, I've been, yeah, I've been ordering uh, groceries. I'm get. I've been getting them delivered. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Very good groceries. Because you're a mom, you can do that. I can't. <laughs> well. Hmm. Because, for example, my day goes like this: I leave my house. Okay. I take a straight line to the mm -hmm. supermarket mm -hmm. and then I turn around and come back home. <laughs> okay. Uh, All right. It's exciting. It's very do, exciting. do you go out every day, Sean? 
Um, well, the thing is, is what I noticed is mm -hmm. if you try to do all, all of your grocery shopping in one day, it's mm -hmm. impossible. Yeah. Because much food or the, the selection is bad. You're right. And you have to wait. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I saw that if you go out every one or two days, uh -huh. you go uh, to the grocery store. Um, I'm losing so. you. I'm losing you. Uh, the connection is not the best today. So, okay. hi, Sean. Yeah. Can, can you, you, hey, yeah. can you hear me yeah. now? Yeah, yeah. I can hear I you now. So welcome everybody. Okay. Yeah, it's good to everyone. see all of you. I'm glad that you guys are all here with us. Okay. We are at home and we're going to talk about being at home. Okay. Wow. So Angie already told us that she has, she does a lot in our house. She yeah. has a child. Okay. She cooks, she cleans. Okay. What are some other things that we might do in the home? Okay. Hmm. What do you guys do at home? What do you guys do? Come on, guys, write to us. Let us know what you do. Hi, Fernanda from Geno Genova. What? Mattia is So Mattia is working at home. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you would say, I'm and working. I'm working. Actually, Donatella is studying English. Um, now, if you are working from home, Ange, what do you call working? Um, for example, in Italian, we call it smart working. But in English, mm -hmm. do we call it smart working? Uh, well, I've heard some people call it smart working or remote working. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We usually do, consider it remote call it? working. Yep. I say working from home. Working from home, or yeah, okay. Angelo says that he studies and works from home. Mm -hmm. Okay. Donatella says that she's retired. And so, uh -huh. oh, Eulalia, am I pronouncing your name right? In my house, okay, in my home, I'm cooking for lunch because my children are at home. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Need to cook. Okay. You can children. also have your children help you in the kitchen and make a mess. <laughs> no, please. Fernanda says I cook, study English, and read books. Fantastic. That's a good way to pass time. We're, we're going to practice a little bit of the differences between do, make, and take. Okay. Great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, jumping over videos. So yep. here we have the list. Angie, can you? Yes. So do versus make versus take. Okay, decide which verb is used for each activity. Do, make, or take. So now we we have to put these verbs into acti uh, into their categories, okay? The ironing. Sean, would you say you do the ironing, you make the ironing, or you take the ironing? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, for example, if we talk about in general, when we use do, it's going to be talking mm -hmm. about an activity, okay? So, for example, we do our homework, um, we do our lessons, okay is whenever i have a shirt and i make it flat so i would say i mm -hmm. do the ironing angie do you agree yep. absolutely i do the ironing mm -hmm. what right. about the washing the washing i do the washing mm -hmm. now for example what is the difference between is do the washing for cooking or for dishes Sorry, I, I didn't get you, Sean. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh huh. Do uh -huh. the washing, is it for dishes or mm -hmm. is it for clothing? 
Oh, it's for clothing because you do the dishes. It's for clothing. Okay, exactly. Very good. <laughs> okay, good. A cake. Do you make a cake or do you do a cake, Sean? Well, I eat a cake. <laughs> All right. I know you don't uh, make. <laughs> but it, it's going to be creating something. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to make the cake. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. What do you guys think? Hmm. Make a cake. All right. Eulalia says make a cake. Uh, we have Michele who says do the ironing, the washing, do homework, and do the cleaning. Good job. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Make cake. Would you also say bake cake? Bake a cake. I would mostly say would bake, say cook cake, cake because that's bake but that talks more exactly. about, for example, the difference between mm -hmm. cook and bake. Exactly. We mostly cook, sure. for example, salty foods, and we bake mm -hmm. sweets. Right. Yeah. Anything that goes into the oven. Mm -hmm. Is what you bake. There you go. What about mm -hmm. a shower? Uh, do you do a shower? Do you make a shower? Do you take a shower? Do you, you? Okay, great. Mikel has answered that. Take mm -hmm. a shower, a nap, a break, and a bath. Nice. Good job. So, What's another word shower. for a nap, everybody? What's, What's another, another for word nap? for nap? Yeah. Maybe we can get some answers from you guys. Another name for a nap. <laughs> it's Oops, I'm trying to write this one here. Oh, very good. Haifa, naps, nap, sleep, some off. Ah, okay. She she understands what a nap is, but we're looking for synonyms, uh, another name for a nap. Okay. Meanwhile, uh, Raphael says, make a pizza, make a sandwich. Good. Very good. What else can we make? We can also, for example, I often, whenever I go out with my friends, Good. I make plans. Yep, you make plans, yeah. Mm -hmm. So Michele says, a little amount of time to sleep. That's true, that's true. Mm -hmm. Another name for a nap would be? Does doesn't it come from the the Spanish word? Uh, are you yeah, looking girl. for that word? Yeah. Okay. I am looking for that word. Okay, then write it down. That magic Break word. Break it, girl. <laughs> okay. Good. So make a coffee. Great. Uh -huh, there you go. I do love a siesta. Oh, we all do, don't we? Ah, see, uh -huh. I think after this class, I'm going to take a siesta. <laughs> okay. Good, yeah. Too many siestas happening these days. Yeah, oh. all life mm. is siesta right now. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. I hope things get back to normal soon because, you know, it's getting a little too boring. Oh, you are bored? No, I mean, I, 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 like, I, like, I like when things are, you know, normal to normal. Oh, that's nice. Did you put that banner up? For example, what are, what are some activities we can do in our house if we are bored? 
Okay. Mm. Yeah. What can you do? Make a sandwich, take a shower. Oh, nice. Take a shower, take away. Good. Yeah. Raphael, good. Very good. Make a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> take away. Order take away. Okay. Order for takeaway. If you are bored, what can you do around the house? Yeah, tell us. Yeah, Matthias says he, he, he makes a sandwich when he's bored. Hmm. Okay. So, Donatella, uh, once again, mm -hmm. is this what you're doing right now? If you're doing it right now, we need to say, I'm okay. listening. listening. Okay. Assemblea says she does the cleaning when she's bored good nice mm -hmm. Very good. what are for example are there other names that we call the cleaning the general tasks we do about house what do we usually call them hmm. what do we call them because anyone well, Housework and mm -hmm. homework are not the same. No. Okay, so I'm chilling <laughs> on staycation. Okay. I like I like Michele's idea. Absolutely. Positive. He's such a positive guy. Uh, changed her computer from computer to tablet. All right, so Eulalia, okay. welcome back. Um, so, for example, another word for housework, we call it, is, you say chores yep. or no? Yes, household chores. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so, for example, when we talk about household chores, what are some mm -hmm. things we, we do the, for example, if we have a broom, what do mm -hmm. we use the broom for? Okay. Anybody? Maybe I, I can give you some of the answers so that they can, uh, they can keep up. We sweep. Oh, very good. Mm -hmm. you, you've written it. <laughs> okay. Broom is for sweeping. Thank you, Anne. <laughs> gold stars. Gold stars. <laughs> Goodness. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. What else do we do at home? I wash, uh, wash the floor. What do we use to wash the floor? The connection is so bad today. What oh, very do we good. use to wash the floor? Oh, yeah. What do we use? We use a mop. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Raphael says, I'm studying English language. Good. Giuseppe says, now, Giuseppe. my wife is doing homework. Uh-uh. So you mean housework? Though. So, she's doing yeah. homework for school? Exactly. Very good, Michele. Housework is mop the floor. Floor, exactly. Clean the house. Homework? Yeah. So, Giuseppe, do you mean that she's doing something for her, um, uh, something that she's studying? She's doing some homework regarding her, um, for example, her English lessons? Uh, is she doing her competi di casa <laughs> to make it more clear? Let us know. Okay. okay. So, down in the text, homework is cool. Okay. Housework is for the things we do around the house. Okay. Very good. Yeah. And now, for Tia, accent, I clean my motorcycle tomorrow. Now we have to use. 
example, tomorrow, it's a plan in the future. So we're going to have to say, I'm cleaning my motorcycle tomorrow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you have to use a future tense because it's tomorrow and it's going to be in the future. Mm -hmm. So that's why you're using that. I'm doing homework and my husband is working from okay. home or working at home. Okay. So, so for example, Eulalia, the continuous is going to be for husband's activity. I'm very good, guys. We are losing you, Sean. Okay. Can you hear me? Let's try. And Anybody? Yeah, now I can hear you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Guys, can you hear Sean? I can hear you now, Sean. Don't worry. Donatella says, I'm washing the plates. Ah, nice. Very good. Okay. Dishes are the general terminology for plates, pans, forks, knives. Okay. Mm -hmm. Whoop. okay, so I see the, the yes, the connection all over Italy is a little distorted this time. I guess everybody is using the internet. So um yeah. Oh, Sean's back. Hello. Welcome back. Hi. Hello. Hi. Okay, you're back. Let's go on. Let's go on. All right. So, where will we? Dinner. Take a shower. Yes. Sean, can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Take dinner. Mm -hmm. Do homework. Yep, yeah, I'm listening. Okay, good. Yeah. So do homework. Great. As as uh, Michele said earlier, make a sandwich. And Matteo said that too. Um, take a nap. Mm hmm what about a break we also have take with the a break, break we want to we're gonna take the break uh -huh. yes he, he, <laughs> yeah he is frozen yeah he's he's really cold Take a break. Okay. All right. Do we the can cleaning. Also do the cleaning. Yep. Make a coffee and take a bath. Mm -hmm. All right. Donatella says that uh, she's cooking pasta. And after that, they're going to eat it. Nice. Jo Giovanna, very good, Giovanna. Oh, Giovanna from yesterday, I remember you. I remember you. Hmm. Great. Excellent. So, guys, remember, do mm -hmm. is to perform an activity. Make mm -hmm. is for creating something new. And take uh -huh. is for re relaxing or washing. Okay. This is very important. Uh, I, I see that a lot of students get a little confused. So make sure that you go through this. All right. Let's go to do you like? Revise the phrases for like and dislike. Okay. Ooh.
Okay, so looking here, guys, we can say these things I hate, I don't like, I quite love. For example, hate, we can also use I can't stand. Mm. Okay. Oh. I if we want stand. to use I, I can't stand, mm -hmm. we can say it's okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. And the same for I don't mind. Okay. I don't mind going shopping. Yeah. Okay. It's mind. neutral. Yeah. So in the house, Angie, talking about chores. Okay, mm -hmm. what can't yeah. you stand doing? Oh, I can't stand uh, ironing. I hate ironing. Yeah. Yeah. What about you? Mm, that's. I. I can't stand. Uh oh. Can you hear me? I can't you, stand doing the dishes. You can't stand doing the dishes. Okay, we get you. You're back. You're back. All right. Mm. Okay. All right. What about you guys? I <laughs> fantastic. Good job. So assemblea. How do you pronounce that? Assemblea. I like cooking, but I don't like ironing. Okay, that's good. And. Mm -hmm. And uh, Giuseppe says, I hate doing housework. Ah, mm. He hates doing housework. You don't like doing anything at all? Not, not a single thing around the house? <laughs> not sweeping or yeah. mopping the floor? Or doing the dishes or cooking? Mm. Or cooking? Yeah. Cooking can be fun. Yeah, I don't mind good, cooking. Good meal. Okay. Some people like mm -hmm. baking. Some people like um, cleaning the house in general. I like cleaning the house, organizing everything around the house. That's the part I like. What about you, Sean? Exactly. Um, keeping things. Michele here says, I can't stand doing the dishes. I my dish dish Okay. Okay. Um, Gabriella, I'm dish washer. Gabriella, okay. I like making cakes. Okay. Or I like making a cake. Uh -huh. um, like Raphael me. wants to know. Okay. Oh, yes. I do like cooking, Raphael. I do. Mm -hmm. I do. Uh, I love uh, I, cooking. I can't do cooking, but I like. Cleaning. Okay, very good, Haifa. Good. At the end of this okay, quarantine, so <laughs> all of our houses will be very, very clean. Haifa, and this is a message for you. So cooking, okay, with the double O, all right? Haifa, I just wanted to get your attention, so I've written your name. So... We say cooking, not cocking, okay? All right. Mm. Gabriella says she likes cooking. I think in general, uh, if I have to generalize, I would say that uh, most Italians love cooking because food is such a, such a big part of the, their culture, you know? So, yeah. okay, Haifa, don't worry. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think everybody likes cooking. All right. Very good. So now, Angie, you and I, mm -hmm. yeah, let's talk about, for example, the things that other people in our house do. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so can I ask you the first question, Sh uh, Sean? Um, sure. Do you make dinner at home? Uh, yes, sometimes I make dinner at home. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you do the ironing at home, Sean? Um, for example, how can I explain this? My partner, she doesn't trust me with the iron. Okay. <laughs> yes. Nobody trusts Sean with anything, so it's it's okay. But yeah. when I'm she isn't home, I iron the clothes. <laughs> you do? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Uh, I like cooking because food is life. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm. I love food. I love eating. So that's good. Mm -hmm. Does your mother make dinner when you're back home in, in the States? Uh, uh, Sean, does your mom make dinner for yeah, you? Both my mother and my father make dinner um, yeah. when I'm back home. They spoil you, don't they? Um, yes, they do. Yes, they do. Uh, <laughs> how about for you? Does your mom still cook for you when you go home? Yes, she does. She does. She's not a very good cook, I have to admit. But, yeah, she tries. <laughs> <laughs> she does try. Yeah. Does your dad cook anything or no? Uh, I come from a culture where men don't do household uh, work, household chores. Okay. Okay, so, no. I, I've never seen my dad cooking ever. Sad. Have you, but you've seen him in the kitchen. Well, I have seen him in the kitchen going in to get a glass of water, things like that. Yeah, But, but my husband mm -hmm. makes a mean um, uh, dish. Like he makes, he, he's a really good cook, my husband. That's why I married an Italian. Yes, this is the only yes. reason. <sighs> Okay, so... Um, and a good comment. Before we get into talking about the comments, we have makes mm -hmm. a mean, okay? Mm -hmm. Makes a mean. This is a way, this is an expression that we often use, everybody, to talk about yeah. a really, really good dish, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. For example, last night he, he made a mean Pasta bolognese, I would say. Is it is is the mm -hmm. uh, is yeah. the pronunciation correct? Yeah, yeah. He made a, a really good pasta last night. I think it was it's called spaghetti bolognese. Yeah. All right. So I That's don't awesome. like. Yeah, yeah. It's like you know you're just gonna put on so much weight during this coronavirus uh, <laughs> mess. Yeah, I don't like ironing. I quite like washing clothes a bit only because it is the washing machine that <laughs> that does the work. Okay, Fernanda, we get it. Yeah. So. My mother doesn't like the ironing, but she adores cooking. That's a good sentence, yeah. Michele again, I really like ironing because sometimes I hate creased clothes. Okay. Because I, I hate creased clothes. Here with sometimes, I might change it to usually. Usually yeah, exactly. I hate creased, creased clothes. clothes. Yeah. Or mm -hmm. in general, I just hate it. Okay. Lasagna is better. Hmm. Lasagna is better. Do you and think Mattia, it's better? Do you make lasagna? Ah, um, your wife lo your wife loves cooking lasagna. No, she doesn't. I make dinner. Rafael says mm -hmm. that he makes it. My love, my wife loves cooking lasagna. Okay, great, nice. So now, for example, let's practice a little that we have, everybody. Let's practice using the expression, make a mean. For example, right. I make a mean burrito, okay, a delicious burrito. So what do you guys make that is really, really good, okay? Angie, what do you make that is mean? I make a mean uh, ravioli, but the Asian-style ravioli. I mean, it's called momo in my country, and so I make a mean momo. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. What and, and what's you said inside of it? Oh, it's uh, it's um, meat and onions. Uh, there's there's a variety of things that you can put in into it. I'll make it for you one of these days, Sean. You, You're gonna thank me for it. All right. Yeah. yeah. And send it to me via webinar. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'll show you pictures of it. Okay. All for you. All right. So Massimo says uh, spaghetti bolognese exists in all parts of the world, but not in Bologna. <laughs> Is that true? Oh, I didn't know that. I thought that it it came from Bologna. So, okay. All right. Giovanna says, I love so preparing Giovanna, lasagna. Say, oh, nice. Giovanna, would you say that you make a mean lasagna? Yes. I, I think she makes a mean lasagna. And Haifa right. says she loves ravioli. Hmm. Just like me. I want to know how, how they make faces. Or the yeah, emojis exactly. because I don't they're know on their to. tablet. I'm so new to this technology here these days. It's like, you know. I'm learning too much. Okay, so yeah. Giovanna says, I adore making ravioli with fresh pasta. Ooh, yes, absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. She's mean. She's yeah. mean in the kitchen. She is. Yeah, she, she seems like she's good in the kitchen. She knows her stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. Um, are you, at this very moment, are you cooking spaghetti seafood spaghetti at the moment Raphael uh, oh that that is my, that has got to be my favorite it's called I like the pasta vongole mm, that's the one that I like mm. pasta vongole is spaghetti with clams with clams, clams. Though, yes mm -hmm. but I don't know why I thought of uh, uh, how can we say for example uh, because a lot of people they like to say fruit of the sea but do we call it fruit of the sea? Oh, no. We don't call it fruit of the sea. We call it seafood. What do we, call it? Mm -hmm. we call it seafood, so maybe like a spaghetti with seafood. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. Or do we call it anything else? Like if you go to a restaurant, how do you mm -hmm. order like spaghetti with seafood? I would, I would just say a uh, seafood spaghetti. Mm -hmm. oh, well, seafood is spaghetti. There, is there, is, is there anything else? Is there anything else you you would say? I don't say? know. Sometimes we call it like. We'll just call it seafood spaghetti. It's it's the best. Seafood, okay. Seafood mussel clams, racer clams. Oh, that's very technical. Mm -hmm. very, <laughs> like, very technical. <laughs> Razor clans and he knows these things. I like spaghetti with mushroom. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, porcini, isn't it? Porcini. I like Very it. Very good. Oh, I love it. I love Italian food. I just I love food in general. So we're just okay. and people who love food. There's a bar in Milan called Foodies. Okay, yeah. but a person who is passionate about food is a foodie. And yep. Angie is definitely a foodie. I am a foodie. Yep, absolutely. Mm -hmm. But uh, have you been to foodies in Milan? Yeah. It's not exactly a place for foodies. They have more no, like No, it's a place and, yeah, for like <laughs> sandwiches. Smoothies. And smoothies and yeah. It's like, like a, it's like for me, it's a health bar. Exactly. It's a health bar. It's not supposed to be called a foodie, right? No, exactly. Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. oh, okay. All right. So tell me, uh, Sean, do you drink tea or do you drink coffee? Uh, what What do you prefer? I drink both tea and coffee, but yeah. I prefer coffee. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, what kind of coffee do you? Well, I am a oh, tea okay, drinker. Yeah, what kind You're of coffee? Do you like Italian, Italian style of coffee, or are you talking about frappuccinos and and after oh, lunch? Oh, the cappa tap of frappa frappuccino. Yeah, yeah. Are you this into the Starbucks kind of coffees or? Um, 
I like it very simple. Um, you know, I like a small coffee, usually with milk. It's very, you know, something mm -hmm. that that wakes me up in the morning. So a, a, a sort of macchiato. Yeah, exactly. Like macchiato mm -hmm. with uh, an express mm -hmm. an espresso with uh, some milk. Yeah, mm -hmm. usually more or less a shot. You get one shot. And you mm -hmm. throw in some milk, and the damage is done. <laughs> the damage is done. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. All right. So, anybody drink? Uh, anybody loves tea like I do? Does anybody like love tea? Do write to us in your comments. Mm. Darjeeling tea, one of the most famous mm -hmm. types of tea there is in the world. Yeah, I, I actually went How to do you in make Darjeeling. Or Darjeeling tea? Is it like How a do you normal make Darjeeling process? Tea? Well, yeah, yeah, it's the normal process. The Darjeeling tea is a type of tea, a tea leaf. Okay, the tea leaves are known as Darjeeling tea leaves. So that's, uh, and then you make tea like as per what's written on the, on the slide. Okay, the so as, yeah. So, <laughs> and the slide, <laughs> I do love ritual tea. Ritual tea, uh, Michele, are you talking about like a Japanese uh, sencha ritual or are you talking about a brand? Do let me know. Okay. Mattia says, uh, I like a tea, but I hate tea with <laughs> Mattia, how can you drink tea without milk? It's it doesn't. I I, I can't understand that. Some people that. drink tea with honey. No, but I, if you're talking about green tea and uh, you know other fruit teas, yes, without milk. But if you're talking about like a Darjeeling tea, I yes, I I prefer it with just a little bit of milk. Mm -hmm. All right, so. So first, boil some water, according to uh, Haifa. Then Giuseppe says, second, water into the cup. Let's see if it's correct. OK. Mm -hmm. Boil some water. Good. Second, put the tea bag in the cup. OK. Yep. So that it brews. OK. Next. OK, so Michele has basically told us everything. Then, uh, okay, put the tea in next, pour the water in the cup, then add the milk. Hmm. Nice. And finally, add a biscuit and enjoy. Biscuit. Mm -hmm. Good. A biscuit. Okay, that was or easy for you guys. Or a cookie, yeah. Mm. Okay. Sean, you'd call it a cookie, right? I mean, it depends. A biscuit and a cookie, the difference between a biscuit and a cookie mm -hmm. is a cookie is much more sweet. A biscuit is kind of a neutral flavor. It could be made of a, a type of grain, um, but a biscuit is kind of neutral in taste, where a cookie has chocolate or something. Mm. Okay. I, I I thought that a cookie was more related to the the American style of speaking and biscuits were more for the the British. But I think Sean's given us a, a good insight into what he thinks. That's good. Mm. Or cookies. Okay. I think I, I mean there's different types. There's, there's biscuits, exactly, right? wafers, and exactly, cookies. Exactly, there are wafers, so, cookies. I mean, Cookies, yeah, I, I get what you're Don't saying, get you know. Don't started. <laughs> yeah, we, we, well, on those wafers. Oh my God, I love wafers. Yeah. Ah, good and okay, nice. Let's go. Okay, so now, guys, let's. I want you guys to talk about your day. So let's give each other a couple minutes. Okay, and how about you guys describe your day? First, second, next, kind of like how Michele did it, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
um, kind of like Michele did it, explain what you do in the house during the day. Oh, Mattia likes, I like both uh, tea and coffee, but in, in the winter, there's nothing winter. better. Winter, I think he's been typing really fast. Than a steaming cup of Earl Grey. Oh, you. Oh, okay. First of all, Mattia, do you drink your Earl Grey with milk or without? Question for you. Okay. First washer. First wash. Okay, is probably what she means. Mm -hmm. And wash what? Wash uh, yourself? Yeah, Brush probably. Brush your teeth? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. What do you do, Sean? Let's talk about you while we're waiting. Well, first, uh -huh. I wake up uh -huh. and I make breakfast. Wow. American breakfast? At I make breakfast. I use a shower, okay? Um, okay. After the shower, I get dressed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When I'm dressed, um, maybe I will either leave my house mm -hmm. a usual day and go to work, okay? Or on the weekend, before mm -hmm. I shower, I clean mm -hmm. the house, I mm -hmm. sweep, then I mop, okay? Then I let the, the floor dry, and then I take a shower. Okay. So you organize yourself very well. I do, yeah. I'm a very organized yeah. person. I'm almost organized. too organized, I think. How about <laughs> for you, Angie? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty organized too. So yeah, the same old things, you know, in the morning you wake up, wash and get yourself dressed, get your child, get my daughter dressed and so on. It's the same routine every single day, mm -hmm. except for these days. These are special days. Yeah, these days are a little different. Yeah. Okay, so Matthias says that he uh, drinks his Earl Grey with just a spoon of brown sugar. Well done. That's exactly how it's supposed to be drunk. Raphael says, mm -hmm. I love, uh, 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 okay, what happened there? I love cooking. I quite like washing dishes, but I hate ironing. Mm. Nice. Very good. <laughs> Matia, I like it. Yeah. No problem with the typos. No problem. Typos are We can fine. understand. Yeah, we can understand exactly it what saying. to the best of us. Yeah. Okay. All right. So uh, I think we'll soon have to wrap up. Uh, but before that, guys, um, please don't forget to send in, uh, write to us what level you are and write to us in that email address that is going around. Okay, and uh, so we can give you assignments and you can write in, we're gonna correct it and send it back to you. And uh, yep, really. Okay, let's go to the last one. Michele uh, says, uh, first I get up, second I have, a sh uh, I have a shower, next I have breakfast, then I get dressed, and finally I exercise. Okay, do ex Exercise. Mm -hmm. You can just say exercise, I think. You don't have to say when you're talking in uh in a in a general sentence, yes, I I do exercise from time to time, but when you're talking about it as a verb, you're gonna be saying that I do exercise. All right, so uh and Mm -hmm. with coffee okay if it's at home we can't take coffee we either make coffee or mm -hmm. we drink a coffee okay mm -hmm. next i put my body on the couch oh i okay my body on the couch would be talking 
as if you're talking about somebody in third person about yourself. Then I sit, sat in my couch before cleaning my couch. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> then I start from the beginning. Okay. Oh, God. Uh, yes. Um, Mattia, the mm -hmm. email is Mayas Milano. Uh, okay. Meravigli at gmail.com. Okay, yeah. Mayas Milano Meravigli, all stuck together, lowercase or small letters, at gmail.com. Okay? Very easy. Okay. All right, guys, Excellent. we're looking forward. So, guys. connection is killing us thank you very much for your time guys and remember to follow us on facebook and instagram okay yep. on Maya smedavi we'll be here all week and if you have any questions always ask us on the page okay thank you angie thank you sean thank you guys bye